Hey guys, it's AJ George here and I'll be your unit coordinator for Laws 14006 Evaluating Legal Risk and uh, I just want to say welcome to the course. I think it's really fantastic that you've made this decision, a life altering decision to commence your higher degree studies with your honours work. Um, if you haven't already had a look at Scott Beattie's videos on uh, dissertation A, which is probably the best uh, place to start, then you should probably stop the video right now, hop on over to um, Scott's units and have a look at those introductory videos first, and then you can jump back here and carry on with this video. Uh, Laws 14006 is really about uh, the more practical side of your honours work. So while you're working with Scott, uh, developing your dissertation, finally tuning your legal research skills, thinking about where you want to develop your expertise, uh, this unit is really designed as a complementary form of, um, I guess, a bit of variety uh, to your honours work. Now, uh, a little bit of background from me, uh, I previously graduated from Bond University right here on the Gold Coast, that's where I'm talking to you from. Um, I then snagged a scholarship and went over to the United Kingdom to do um, some master's work in intellectual property. And uh, intellectual property actually does focus uh, in our unit towards the back end of the unit so stay tuned for a little bit more on that when we get to IP but I came back and I ended up doing a PhD at the University of Queensland and teaching there for some time uh, and I then went to QUT and I'm now here with CQU but in amongst all of that I actually found the time to do some legal practice with a couple of law firms in Brisbane and during my time in practice, uh, it really became very apparent to me that clients were reluctant to get uh, their legal advisors on board early in their business planning process, early in uh, the, the process of finding out about their legal disputes, their legal problems. And uh, usually we would find that clients would only instruct us like right at the very last minute possible so that they would, in their thinking, minimise their legal costs, minimise their spend um, in that regard and try and just patch up any problems that had occurred as quickly as and as expeditiously as they possibly could. Um, it was a very frustrating experience to be in practice and to find just so many times uh, that if clients had actually come to us much earlier in their business planning st stage, ideally, or you know, at the very beginning of a dispute, uh, or even before the disputes had begun, to try and uh, do some form of risk evaluation for them, uh, then they really would have saved money in the long run. And so this unit is really all about putting some of my experience um, to your good use. Um, anytime you need to uh, flick me a question on the weekly readings, please feel free. I also have a Twitter feed, which um, I'm, I'm up on uh, the handle of at laws12068 underscore AJG. So if you want to flick me uh, a tweet at any stage, feel free um, to hop in, have a look at the IP feed there that I'm putting up. Um, as far as the unit is concerned, um, the first weekly readings are probably the most fundamental in terms of you getting a really broad outlook at where we're headed in this unit and the kinds of uh, concepts that are being threaded through the unit. Um, you'll find that the Susskind reading sets you up for what I've just talked about, that whole business of why are lawyers engaged so late in the day why are lawyers being brought on board much earlier in the in the legal process uh, and why aren't lawyers being utilised more effectively? And 
Susskind actually says that he thinks that the whole paradigm of legal practice will change in the next few years and I tend to agree with a lot of what he says. Uh, I really don't think that legal practice as it stands right now with the hourly billing and the units of, of time that are charged to clients, I don't think that that's going to survive in the long run. I suspect there will be far more automation of where we're going um, in terms of legal process provision. Um, I, I think that Susskind's reading should hopefully open your eyes uh, a little bit about where the, the whole practice of law is headed and it might give you a little bit of an idea about some of the other forms of employment um, or career choice that are available to you guys having graduated with a law degree. There's many, many opportunities out there apart from standard law firm practice and it really would pay you to have a little look at Susskind with one eye open on, well, perhaps if I don't end up in a law firm where are the other areas that I might usefully find some form of uh, career choice, some form of perhaps even more fulfilling career choice than legal practice. So that's the Susskind readings for week one. Uh, week two, uh, we have a little look at um, design thinking and systems thinking. And that's really designed to provide you with I guess a basis for thinking about your scoping exercise. So before you actually start on the whole legal um, risk assessment bandwagon, you really need to do a good survey, a good, uh, I guess, reconnoiter of what your context is like, where the whole risk analysis process will sit, what are the drivers of the stakeholders that are sitting in that context and how can you harness their attitudes, their beliefs um, to make your legal risk assessment uh, more effective. So that's the second week's reading. Looking forward to the third week and really the, the first four weeks kind of set you up for then launching forward into I guess a detailed risk assessment but the third week is regulatory theory and we're looking at John Braithwaite and the lovely Valerie Braithwaite there. Um, you will find that they come up with some very useful tidbits that you may be able to use in your project plans and later on in your actual writing up your project. Uh, they do provide quite a few useful insights into the whole regulatory process and, and where things can go wrong, uh, what should be going right, how the process should be handled. Then in week four, we have a little look at um, the definition of legal risk in a bit more depth to flesh it out for you. And hopefully by the end of that week, and I probably would suggest in so far as your project plan is concerned, that's due at the end of week four. I would probably suggest that you have a little look forward to the materials for week five before you actually submit your project plan. So I guess that ties very nicely into your assessments and the first one is obviously your project plan. Um, try and get going on your project plan sooner rather than later. And a very first step before you can even put pen to paper really is figuring out what it is you want to do a risk assessment of. So have a little think. Scott in his um, materials for uh, dissertation A uh, provides you with a very handy bullet point list of um, many, many different ideas for a project that you could do in this kind of risk assessment unit. So have a look at those, put your thinking cap on and uh, start to submit to me uh, your ideas for a risk assessment project. And we can tick tack on those, you know, in the, in the first couple of weeks, try and get something signed off sooner rather than later so that you can start to work on that project plan over the course of those first four weeks. Like I said, before you submit that first piece of assessment, it is probably crucial for you to have a wee look at 
the, the materials for week five just so that you can be thinking ahead uh, whilst you're doing your project plan and uh, as I said that's due Friday uh, yes Friday of week four so keep that date in mind and the other piece of assessment in this unit is your actual project your legal risk assessment project and that will involve building on your project plan teasing it out um, fleshing it out uh, into something that's quite a sophisticated document that you would for example submit to a client okay so it needs to be professionally written uh, it's much more practical and perhaps less um, creative in a way than your dissertation A work and your uh, legal research A subject. Um, but it's nevertheless the kind of skill that you're going to need whether you're out there in legal practice or if you're, for example, uh, the in-house counsel at uh, a firm or company, organisation, um, these kinds of skills are in dire need. Um, not many graduates have them now and you'll be amongst the lucky few that um, get a head start with this kind of practical skill under your belt. So that's your uh, work for this unit. I guess fleshed out for you. As I said, have a look at um, the Susskind readings for week one that will give you a really good idea of the way that the law and the way that legal practice is changing very rapidly and then weeks two, three and four build on that and by the end of week four as I said you should have a pretty good idea of where you want to go with your project plan. Tick tack with me, set all your project um, scope sooner rather than later and um, anytime you need me send me an email send me a tweet and I will be only too happy to um, chat with you if you want to have a zoom uh, just let me know and we can zoom each other I don't mind whenever you want to have a, a chat by zoom I believe that Scott's going to be um, organizing a, a one grand Two hour, I think, Zoom uh, per week for the the honours units. So I will certainly be at those. If you want to ask me questions, then that's fine. But if there's something else burning that you really want to discuss with me at another time, just flick me an email and we can set up a Zoom meeting when you need. So that's probably about it for me. Uh, I'll keep things short sharp and shiny for you and if you have any queries any questions let me know I guess the only other thing that um, is happening right now is that I'm transitioning my materials from the Moodle site across to Perusal so that you can uh, get used to Perusal with Scott's units and it will also eventually carry over into Laws 14006 as well so that you can get in there, you can mark up the documents, you can chat with each other, you can explore your ideas and um, hopefully we can build quite an online community of thinkers um, because that's really what we need to be driving our skills base towards. So, like I said, anytime you need me, just send me an email, send me a tweet, we can set up a Zoom. Um, other than that, I'll leave you to your first four weeks of readings. Thanks for your time, and I look forward to seeing you in the next Zoom workshop. Thanks, guys.